liftoff of Space Shuttle Atlantis. It was a sad feeling to see it because here it, it, it's not flying, it's a museum exhibit. And, and that's a more emotional feeling than, oh, what a great exhibit it is. Houston now controlling. Atlantis begins its penultimate journey to shore up the International Space Station. Now we have enough information to understand why the tether reels out and stays out. My name is Marsha Ivins, and I am a former uh, NASA astronaut who had the opportunity to fly on Atlantis three times. This display of Atlantis is unlike any other museum display that you are likely to see in the world. Here in Florida, Atlantis is supported like it would be flying in space, like a working spacecraft. Payload bay doors are open, the robot arm is deployed, it's, it's sort of banking towards you a little bit, and it's, it's the most stunning display of a spacecraft I have ever seen. Atlantis now in its preliminary orbit. The thing that hit me and hit many people who were astronauts seeing it was that it was static and in a museum. Uh, the fact that it's not flying anymore and there is no replacement for it in the U.S. space program at the moment. A friend of mine once said that only in human spaceflight do you see in a museum hardware whose capability we wish we still had. The space shuttle pulls into port for the last time. Its voyage at an end. Here is a spacecraft that we built unlike anything that had ever been built before. A vehicle that was reusable, that could land and be, and used, be used again. No one had ever built anything like that. All spacecraft up until the time of the shuttle had been disposable. We went to space many times. Atlantis. Yeah. And hopefully people will look at Atlantis and maybe, maybe some young person will be inspired looking at this to think Okay, why can't I do better than that? Why can't I take the next step? Why can't we go to the moon and Mars and beyond that? Hopefully somebody will think of that. <laughs>